My name's Rosie Kay and I'm Associate Artist at Dance Exchange. I'm in the first week of production for There Is Hope. It's a new full-length show that we're going to premiere in October and it's looking at religion and the body, physicality, spirituality, religion, faith, belief, ritual. I'm with five dancers, five performers, multi-talented performers, three musicians on stage and a creative team that involves a dramaturg, a video film designer, a composer, a designer, a lighting designer. It's a big team. I think the ideas for the show started a long time ago, quite a few years ago, around the same time that I, I was asking myself some quite big questions. And it was around the time I actually started also investigating the military world. That kind of developed, obviously, in quite a big way and ultimately became the production Five Soldiers. But this one, this idea about sort of religion and belief and faith, this one was ticking away and actually it, it relates quite a lot with Five Soldiers in terms of like concepts about death, sacrifice, the body, what the body processes are, um, and, be and belief systems. It's, 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 a, it's a tricky subject matter, you know, you have to kind of be careful. But I think ultimately we're almost like creating... It's a, well, it's about humanity, it's about human universality. There are sort of universal th themes within small groups. That relates to Five Soldiers as well, like the dynamics, the states of ecstasy or the states of boredom of a, of a group are interesting to me. But the, the, prime, the prime motive is to take audiences on a visceral experience. I think it should be very intellectually challenging, but actually it should give you kind of quite a gut feeling as well. And there, I mean, it's quite sort of, it's quite unfashionable really, talking about such things as hell and heaven and purgatory, but Actually, they, they relate very much to, to the modern world. They relate to the kind of reality we're living in. And maybe by evoking them and kind of um, exploring them a little bit with an audience and getting everybody feeling, maybe it makes us look at our own world a little bit different. I've like a theory that we're sort of in purgatory at the moment. There's like, we, we know, we know like the economic situation is bad. We know the climate change is bad. We know we need to do more about the environment, but we can't really make any decisions. We can't make any decisions to do anything and I feel like the world's about to change or something and I think by looking at religion, religion maybe is the answer, I don't, don't know, but there's something about sort of looking at these big questions about life and death make you think very much more about the moment now, take control of the moment now. That's quite a big ambition for <laughs> one show, isn't it? <laughs>